A head teacher will this morning come out to his pupils in an online assembly. Let's talk to him. He's Nicholas Hewlett, the head teacher of St Dunstan's College in Catford in South East London. Hello, Mr Hewlett. Good morning. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. What has prompted you to do this? The students, I would say. Go on. Um, I have had some excellent conversations with students only a few weeks ago talking about diversity and inclusion in the school and how we could make it even better. And I was just really struck by them and how confident and courageous they were talking about their own identities. One in particular talking very confidently about uh, the fact that he was gay and how comfortable he felt being gay in the school. And also the, 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 the real nod to the importance of role models amongst the staff. And it, and it really got me thinking. And I thought, well, look, if role models are this important to young people, and of course they are when you think about it, actually, as a, a, as a gay man living in a very happy marriage, um, I ought to be transparent with students about that because I feel like they could well draw quite considerable strength from that fact. So, so here we are. And have you done it yet? Is it live? Yeah. Have you pre-recorded a message? What, what, how is it going to work? Well, well it's pre-recorded because of the, of the world we're living in at the moment. Mm. So it will go out to various groups of students over the course of the rest of the day. Um, and in fact, I've just, I've just recorded the message um, uh, just before coming on air with you. And what do you say? Yeah, uh, well, um, I actually build it around the life of, a, of one of our alumni, who uh, a chap called Martin Preston, who died last month, who was out to the whole school in the 1970s. Wow. Uh, with extraordinary acts of bravery and, uh, and was met with real resistance from the then head, I understand. So, uh, and, and the rather beautiful part of that story is that the pupils of the time really rallied around him. He was, he was outed in private eye in 1981. And they wrote all sorts of letters in support of their inspirational teacher who, you know, they thought was wonderful. So it's a really lovely story. And, uh, and my point being, that, of course, the school has moved on and schools have moved on. Society has moved on such a very, very long way. But we mustn't forget the importance of those values um, and that they're fragile and they're precious. And we need to look after them. And not everybody has the privilege of, of being able to be in an environment that is as inclusive and diverse as, as the school that we have. Yeah. I don't know if you're watching It's a Sin at the moment, uh, Mr Hewlett, but, but just a, a, a horrific reminder, a horrible reminder of how gay men with HIV and AIDS were treated not that long ago in this country. But as you say right now, society has moved on. Do you think it is still courageous to come out in Britain in 2021? You used the word earlier. You know, I've, I found it extraordinary. I find it extraordinary that this is actually news, really, in the 21st century. And I think the fact that it is does tell its own story. Um, and I, I certainly didn't think it would be. I, my, my whole um, purpose behind this was just to front LGBT week, which we have every year at St Dunstan's, um, and just to take a more proactive stake in it. So I think it tells you something. I, I think there is, and you talk about it, it's a sin. I haven't watched it, by the way, although I'm going to. Yeah, um, it's but growing up in the 1990s, you have to remember my generation uh, were, were conditioned in, in a way of thinking about sexual identity um, that is totally different from how it is today. Totally different. So, and I think that is one of the reasons why there are so few heads, so few, who are comfortable um being open about their sexuality um uh, and very few openly gay heads so um i think you're that 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 people forget i think just how quickly social values have moved on mm. and, and being brought up in the 90s without doubt i think has conditioned a generation of people in particular leaders to being far more uh far less open about their sexuality than they need to be right okay there will be some who will say, you know, this is your private life, you, you as the head teacher should keep your private life private. What would you say to them? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I hear that view. Um, I, I'm not, and, and if you get a chance to listen to the assembly, do. I mean, it's one line within the context of a much broader message. This, okay. is, not a, this is not an emphasis on me and my life. This is, a, this is a, a point of transparency in order to give comfort to students who might themselves be struggling with their sexuality. It's not, a, it's not an exercise of self-indulgence. This is purely a point of transparency in order to show that actually there are more role models out there, that it is possible to be in a happily married, same-sex relationship and also to be successful um, and to be open about things. Mm. And do you, do you deliver the line in a, in a very kind of practical, pragmatic way or do you feel emotional about doing this? The, the whole thing has built up so much that I don't feel as much emotion as perhaps I thought I was going to feel. And it, it, it's, it, is, with, 
it's within the context of, a, as I say, a much broader sure. message which is about being comfortable with yourself, allowing other people to find their own identities, and also not committing too early to a particular identity, particularly, uh, I think, a sexual identity when you're growing up. You need, there needs to be a sense of uh, being able to explore that and not necessarily needing to commit and to, to, to hold those values dear. I mean, let us not forget there are places in the world, uh, a number of places in the world, where what is happening at my school today would be illegal. Thank you very much for talking to us. We appreciate your time. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Nicholas Hewlett, who is the head teacher of St Dunstan's College in Catford in South East London.